Now, I'm going to bring you this little app, a uh, pretty neat, called Clip Start. Now, it's made by the Riverfold Software Company people, or so you want to say, who also do WeTransfer, which is also on their site, which, you know, I'll get to later, but I, I don't know, I think I did a video on it, but if not, I'll do one just real quick, you know, later on. But the main star, to, the main star is Clip Start, and what you want to do is... You download it, and you had to buy it, too. It's $29.99 for a single user or a family pack, 59 you know, up to five computers or five people. Now, what you do with this here is pretty much it lets you upload your videos to Flickr, Vimeo, YouTube. Now, they claim they're going to try to add some other services in their uh, FAQ, you know, um, or somewhere. I, oh, yeah, Viddler and Blip TV. They're thinking of, they're trying to do that. But I think what it does is it uses the API system. So now, as you already know, with Vimeo, they already got their own uploader now. So more likely, you could probably just eliminate that unless you want to just use that as well. But this here will upload to Flickr and YouTube. And this is the first time me running it. So I have a test video right here uh, of me just saying how awesome it is, which is, you know, pretty much not very much of a thing. Now what you want to do is, ignore that, the uh, saw, I was trying to test out the, the view of it, but, now what you want to do is, it's going to go to the accounts, you got Flickr, Vimeo, YouTube, if you got Flickr, you can authorize it through there, Vimeo, authorize it, YouTube already have it authorized, all you do is just use your login, password, and all that. Now, I have it set for a video, a folder for video projects, so I drop that in there. And oddly enough, I don't know. I, it needs a ref the one thing I noticed. It needs a refresh button. But as far as I know, it, you know, that's the, probably the only thing. It needs like a little refresh button. So let's just say now what you want to do is it has a little thing down here where you click the tag, and what you do is you add your tags and whatnot. I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, sanity test. Uh, what is this thing called? start and you know you have that actually I think you have to use uh, I didn't mean to do that well while I'm here I'll show you the thing I learned in the video on their website they claim when you do this here you can pretty much edit it and then like as you can see here it says the selection you got highlighted here will be uploaded so the whole video won't be uploaded just the portion you can have uploaded if you want it to Now, let's go back here. Uh, I think what I got to do is use the comma system, as usual. There we go, see? Commas, and if you got all your tags here, you can reuse them on other videos that you have. Now, if I want to upload it, all I got to do is upload. I don't know why it's going to Flickr, but it should be, it should say to... YouTube actually, but I don't know, it's not doing that. Why is it not doing that? Hmm. There we go. Okay, so now I found it. Because for some reason they have upload to Flickr as a default, and I think that should be changed. But what you have to do is you go to a uh, video and then upload to YouTube. They gotta upload to Twitter. I haven't really used that yet, but as of right now, it probably uploads to like one of the video sites, but. We'll go to YouTube, that's where we want to go. Now it's uploading it, as you can see in the task. You know, I already got the uh, clips and all that. The tags, I mean. More likely, I probably should have changed the title, but I could always do that. This is just a test anyway, so. And pretty much it's done. Go here. Video's not yet processed. So right now, we'll go to my... Uh, video playlist and we'll see where it's at see it's uploaded it's almost it's almost like um kind of nice it's kind of like having your own uploader you don't have to go to the youtube website it's kind of nice kind of makes it easier for you to like add your own stuff hmm it's edited to private it shouldn't be doing that but but that's certain things you have to uh tinker around with in the preferences i haven't really did that i'm just testing it out <coughs> but uh 
Yeah, pretty much, you know, uh, if you want to upload a video to YouTube, it looks pretty nice. And see, there it is. It's uploaded. Let's go to my video to make sure. See, it's already uploaded in HD, too. So we'll play it real quick. Man, clip start is awesome. That is all I got to say about that. Yeah, see, like I said, it was a short video, short test clip. But uh, it works pretty well. It's, uh, you know, man, shows it in HD. The curd. Uh oh, the curd error. Uh. I think that's how it did. Uh, YouTube is kind of funky. It's been doing that too, but pretty much, uh, pretty much works very well. I can't complain about it. There you go, HD. Clip start is awesome. That is all I got to say about that. See, and pretty much, like I said, you could use it to go to your Flickr if you have like a Flickr video, your Vimeo account if you have one. And right now, this is the latest build right here. And what you have to do is, you know, you can download the demo or you could buy the uh, serial number. And pretty much it works pretty well. Uh, it's very worthwhile. I believe if you upload to YouTube a lot, You'll probably like this uh, app right here. So that's Clipstart.